I don't didn't support this idea in general, but you know, who can tell if it really if it passed BNA and if it passed Senate, if it got to my desk, what I would have actually done. Um, but just the idea in general, I, I support the idea um, of the request and the end goal. I just disagreed with how uh, Spinnaker wanted to get there. Mm-hmm. Um, rationale behind that is Spinnaker has almost two hundred thousand dollars in a fund balance and reserves that they can spend on this project. Uh, this project can be done, can be completed, the same service that it would provide to the student body and the community footprint it would you know, enable uh, for UNF could be done without taxing the students for it. And you know, things expend from the ANS fee, the only way we have this fee to allocate it is because it at one point in time was taxed from the students, right? I like to say tax, but anytime we levy a fee, you know, I, you know, it is a tax. It's not as formal, I guess, as the tax is, but it really is a tax. So this project could have been done by the Spinnaker and could still be done by the Spinnaker yes. um, without doing it on the backs of the students. And, you know, I support all students on this university, and I think there are a lot of hardworking students out there who, if we could get this project without taking their money to do it, it's my, you know, it's my job to ensure that we do that and try to encourage us to do that. For the simple reason is this project does not have to be done on the backs of students. It does not have to be done with student fee revenue. It can be done 100% through auxiliary, which is funded from outside organizations, venues, businesses, enterprises, and does not have to be done with any money uh, from the student body. As far as you know, just the physical equipment and capability itself, student government does have an ongoing commitment to providing you know this kind of service to campus through our funding of Osberg Radio, and we funded uh, over $14,000 more this year. And as treasurer, I proposed the budget at over $14,000 more, which is 35 hours a week. Um, in OPS funding to get students who can work it and who could manage a 24-hour radio station and hopefully, you know, a 24-hour FM radio station. I trust the information that the Spinnaker provided, and once again, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great move forward for the university. I just disagree with the fact and the thinking that this needs to be done and this can only be done on the backs of our students with student fees. My opinion is, as an objective you know, bystander with the best interest of the student body at heart is, I see $200,000 just about sitting there. And I understand, after talking to your director and various student leaders, why you think you need that $200,000. But I don't think that it would honestly put you know, Spinnaker or any Spinnaker entity in a negative position to fund this project. Because once again, four years from now, you'll turn around, you'll make a profit, you'll be in a better position than you were today without SG involvement at all. And that could just be because you know, I'm a finance major and I have a very business and analytical perspective about the way I go yeah. about things, but you have the money to pay for it. It would only take you four years to pay it off. And four years from the day you guys start you know, getting sponsorship dollars in from it, if your projections are correct, you pay the thing off and you start making money. And you'd be better off today. You'd have more money coming into your auxiliary to fund those things that you guys thought um, you know, is the intention and the purpose of your auxiliary. You'd have more money to do it today. So... You know, from my perspective as a finance guy, you have to make an investment to make more money in the future. And a four-year turnaround on a $40,000 investment to be making almost $12,000 a year seems like a pretty good deal. And you don't need to do it on the backs of the students. You know, we take this fee money from hardworking students, and, you know, we should be sure that it goes to a good cause. I'm not saying that this isn't a good cause. You know, if you guys didn't have a fund balance, didn't have an auxiliary account, that was able to handle this, and in my opinion, it's able to handle this, and you'd be perfectly fine, you'd be in a better position than you are four years from now. If you didn't have that, then you know that's a different conversation that we could have at that point, but you have it, and you know, there's nothing against Spinnaker. I think it's a great cause. I think the Spinnaker is a great staple on this campus yeah. for our students. You know, It's just the way we're going about doing this particular project, I disagree with, because it does not have to be done with a sacrifice from a student.